Hello! In this video, we will continue to practice with the AB Color Grid in 3D LUT Creator. In the video called Saturation Curves in 3D LUT Creator, I mentioned that all actions of the saturation curves can be done on the color grid. Now, I will show it. The saturation luminance curve or satloom curve effect can be recreated with the double AB grid. On the grid that affects the highlights, I raise the saturation of the highlights. I select one point, hold the control and shift keys, and by pressing the arrows on the keyboard, I select the other points. Now I will raise the saturation in the highlights. The same can be done with the saturation in the shadows. Why is the color grid better than the sat loom curve? On the color grid, we can separately control the saturation for different colors. For example, in the highlights, I can individually raise the saturation only for orange or only for yellow. You cannot do it with the sat loom curve. The saturation saturation curve or sat sat curve can easily be replaced with the circular AB grid. Let's open this photo and reduce the saturation of super saturated colors using AB grid. I determine the saturation, which does not fall under the color correction. I select the desired points and pin them by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift keys and clicking on any of them. Now I select the ends of the color rays and move them towards the center of the grid where the neutral colors are. I reduced the saturation of only highly saturated colors, and therefore I muted the sunlight on the rock. And what if you need to reduce the saturation of only one color in the photo? On the sat-sat curve, you cannot do this. For example, if we work with the sat-sat curve in this photo, we will reduce the saturation of highly saturated colors in all colors. Let's try to return the color of the foliage and the giraffe. It is easy to do this on the grid. I select the desired range of colors and reset the points. Now I reduced only the saturation of the sky. In this photo, using the sat-sat curve, I increased the saturation of desaturated colors. Let's do this on the AB grid. I pin the points above which the saturation will not change. Then I select the desaturated colors and increase their saturation. Compare the before and after. On the water, the place of sunlight was repainted, so the curve would do the same, but it is clearly visible when comparing the before and after that the blue colors along the edge of the shore also increase. On the grid, I can easily fix it. On the sat-sat curve, this cannot be done. In Lightroom, for example, you can increase or decrease the saturation for a certain color, but you cannot work only with the low saturated colors or over saturated colors. In addition, in 3D LUT Creator, you can also work with the saturation of one hue, depending on its brightness. For example, you can increase the saturation of desaturated colors of a certain hue only in the shadows. Other programs haven't even dreamed of this. Let's consider this photo. I need to make the plates in this photo neutral. The plates have color casts and they are of different colors. This is easy to check if you try to make them neutral with white balance. Moreover, the white balance affects the entire image. The colors on the plates are located almost at the center of the grid, so I make the desaturated colors neutral. I pin the range of the saturation of the colors, which I would like to preserve, and now I reduce the saturation of low saturated colors to zero. Done! I can still raise the brightness. Compare the before, after. Let's try to replace the luminance saturation curve or loom sat curve with AB grid. I will make highly saturated colors darker. Note that the lightness change is also transmitted to the unpinned points. The further they are from the pinned points, the less the lightness is affected. To prevent such lightness transition, you need to pin the points to that saturation, beyond which the lightness should not change. For example, like this. The sky also becomes darker. I will fix it on the grid. To do this, I reset the saturation of the desired points. You cannot do it on the loom sat curve. So, I hope you understand now how to work with the saturation in the 3D LUT Creator. Let's now turn to neutral colors. 
I load a picture with color gradients. As you already know, neutrals are in the center of the grid, and they depend on the color model. If you watched a video about the color models in 3D LUT Creator, you know that in the LAB color model, the colors that are too bright or too dark are located in the center of the grid as neutral colors. Therefore, dark and light colors will also be affected in the LAB model when painting neutral objects. Now it is clearly visible. In the color models where saturation does not depend on brightness, for example in HSP and E, the repainting does not affect other colors, even if I do not pin the points around the neutrals. Let me remind you that in Photoshop or Lightroom, you cannot repaint neutrals without affecting other colors. I open the image and try to repaint the neutrals. To isolate other colors, you can pin the points around the neutrals. There are low saturated colors around the neutrals, these will also be recolored. The lightness of neutrals can also be changed separately from other colors. I showed it before on the plates example. Now let's move on to creating color harmonies. Many of you probably heard about the color wheels used for harmonic color combinations. Let's make complementary color schemes and triads based on the ITIN color wheel in the 3D LUT Creator. You can learn more details about the color harmonies on the internet. So, complementary color schemes are combinations of two mutually opposite colors on the color wheel. For example, let's try to harmonize the blue and orange in this photo. I add the colors I need from the reference to the swatches. Now I will select the View Swatches points. I press F5 to refresh the grid. So I will know where the reference colors are on the color grid. If there is a skin tone in the photo, you should try to keep it natural in your color scheme. Color schemes are allowed to shift one of the colors one step to the side along the color wheel. If some objects in the photo are knocked out of the general color scheme, but they take less than 5% of the frame, they can be left in. Neutral colors usually remain unchanged, but in 3D LUT Creator, there is the possibility of working with neutral colors. They can also be colored in accordance with the color scheme. Compare the before and after. You can also open a vector scope. That's what the color distribution was before. There was already a combination of red and green. Now the image has a combination of orange and blue. I apply this color scheme to other photos. Here are the original colors and here are the resulting colors. And one more photo. That's the way it was before. And now after applying the color scheme. There are a lot of colors in this photo. Let's try to create harmony between the green and red. I will open the reference and the swatches. I remove unnecessary colors and add green and red from the reference. I update the grid by pressing F5. The colors from the swatches appear on the color grid. Now in our photo, I will move all the colors to red and green. We created the harmony between the green and red colors. Here is the image before, and here is the result. Now let's try to make a triad, that is, a combination of three colors equidistant on the color circle from each other. For example, blue, red, and yellow. I will update the grid and shift the color of the image to reference colors. To ensure that the color combination is better red, try to make your colors have about the same saturation. Here I need to add yellow. Compare the before and after. So that's it. I told you about the basic ways of working with the color grid. Remember that in order to consolidate knowledge and acquire a skill, you need to practice more and then everything will surely turn out well for you. Like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. See you in the next video.